Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here in this video today. I want to talk a little bit about Team Vitality once again because we did get uh, a little bit of a new rumor, a new story coming out regarding uh, some potential roster changes that they may be making uh, before we head into this 2022 summer split. Obviously, spring split did not go uh, as Vitality would have liked or, or as they would have planned in pretty much any single way. We know the team has a lot of money. We know they want to make a super team. We know they want to win. Um so we're going to be talking about that today. Definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate that a ton. Uh, subscribe to save today and all my latest content. Consider checking out the Patreon. First link in the description below. Uh, if you guys want to get early access to my videos before they go live on YouTube. Or if you just want to help support me, my channel, and my content. Uh, with that being said... Let's get right into this one. So uh, the video I made yesterday was all about, you know, some potential self-made drama. Um, we have covered in the past couple of weeks how self-made has said and tweeted self about, hey, I don't even know what summer 2022 is going to look like for me. I don't know if I'm getting bench. I don't know if I'm getting replaced. It seems like even moving to Academy, even moving to Vitality B has been a potential option. Um, there was times where it looked like he might be going to another team, maybe like Mad Lions, could a potential return to Fnatic be in order? You know, all these different options for Selfmade. Selfmade also dropped the bomb that their coach Mephisto might be getting fired or replaced or kicked or whatever. And it just left us in this very, very crazy place. But the big update today is that LEC Wulu had a stream yesterday. And I was tuned in. You know, I watched as much of it as I could. I kind of was busy, but uh, I was watching it and stuff. And, uh, you know, he was talking about all the different teams. He has L LEC, LCS stuff. We'll, we'll talk about the LCS stuff in another video. But as far as the LEC stuff, here is what, uh, you know, Wulu at least had as the rosters. And I'll move this around so we can see everything. Um, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Um, you know, we have G2. He says he's probably not going to be changing anything. Astralis. We already know all their changes. Vizichachi, Zergze, Dehor, De Kabe, Jonghoon, uh, Fnatic. They shouldn't be making any changes. You know, maybe Razork was going to get moved around, but he looks like he's going to stay. Mad Lions made the one change with Niski in the mid lane. Rogue's going to be staying the same. Uh, he did say BDS doesn't know what they're doing at all yet. It seems like um, they are going to be boot camping and, and giving all 10 players a chance at, um, you know, potentially playing in the LEC next split. So BDS, we'll see. It's kind of just an up in the air, like fluid roster. Um, he does say that Misfits is uh, potentially looking at new top laners. He says they have allowed Hirit to explore his options for the summer split and that they are exploring their top lane options as well. Now, if Misfits can't find anything good, hey, they might run back here again, and if here can't find anything good, they could still stay together, maybe for at least one more split, but that seems like that's a possibility. SK looks like they're going to be staying the same. Excel looks like they're going to be staying the same, and then Vitality, you can see, is totally blank. It's totally wide open. It's not because he hasn't filled it in yet. He just said he wasn't going to fill it in because he said he didn't know what was going on yet, but what he did say, this is what Wulu said, you know, I'm kind of paraphrasing. Obviously, I'm not, this isn't a clip or a quote or anything, but um, pretty much, we don't know what's happening in Vitality yet, but there is a possibility of some significant changes to come, some interesting changes to come, and he said he does believe they could be coming over the next week. Now, he doesn't say that changes are happening, and that's why he doesn't want to fill anything in yet, because it's possible that the changes don't happen, that something doesn't work out, but there also is the possibility that it does happen. And again, like he said, it sounds like we will be finding out over the next week. Now, I think this is very, very interesting. Again, he didn't put anybody in here, but I don't think that means that no one is safe or anything like that. I cannot imagine they will be replacing Perks. He was so expensive. His brand's too big. He's too popular. I don't think he was that good last split, but I don't think he was that bad either. And I definitely think he can bounce back. Uh, I, I, you know, Perks is going to be there to stay. I also can't really imagine them moving around Karzi at all. You know, this guy is super young. He's a two-time LEC champion. He's made it to semifinals at MSI. He's made it out of groups at Worlds. Like, this guy, he's a very, very good prospect. And he's already been really good. He's projected to be really good. There's no way anything's happening to Karzi. Now, those are the two players that I think are for sure safe. And I would not even, you know, contemplate anything happening to them. Everyone else, it really seems like anything is on the table. And, uh, you know, as far as Lebrov, I'm not really sure who the support options to replace him would be. Um, I do believe that, obviously, with Vitality B, I think their support is Jack Troll. And, and you know, Vitality B is doing really good right now. They're top four in EU Masters. So I thought maybe Jack Troll could come in. I thought there was a time that maybe Advian would come to Vitality. But, like, um, you know, Advian's on another team now. 
now. Um, as far as the jungle, again, I don't really know who the jungle options would be. I thought maybe Razork, maybe El Yoya, but again, those don't look like they're happening. So I thought, hey, maybe Skeens would get called up from Vitality B. Again, same type of thing. Vitality B is doing pretty good, and it just kind of makes sense that that's their academy stuff and all that. But the big update then is that somebody asked, like, Wulu, like, if Vitality does anything, are they just calling up academy players? And Wulu said, no, he doesn't think so. So that means that there is some other outside options. Now, we already know that other outside options are hard to come by in between spring and summer. You know, in this mini offseason, there's not many players available already. There's not many players that you can just go out and get. But now we're also a couple weeks into the mini offseason where some other players have already started signing to other teams. They've already started joining other rosters. They've already started joining organizations. You know, like you look over to the LCS, like the offseason's pretty much mostly done. Look at these LEC teams. All their rosters are pretty much mostly done. It's like BDS just doesn't know who they're starting between main team and academy. Misfits is just looking for a top laner. And other than that, everyone has their full rosters. So then it starts making me think to, you know, like outside uh, different players and talent and stuff like that. And I still don't really know who the options for support or jungle could be. Uh, again, self-made said he doesn't know if he's going to be back. Self-made said he might be going to academy. So... He is for sure at least one of the potential options. Obviously, the coach getting fired to replace is one of the potential options. Maybe LeBron. And then that takes me to the top lane as well, who, again, Alfari and Perks, they kind of came to Vitality as a package deal, and it seems like they wanted to play together. So I don't know if Alfari getting replaced is actually an option or anything like that. We'll have to wait and see. It did make me wonder, like Wulu said, that Summit has definitely gotten some interest from some Western teams and some Korean teams. Um... Could Vitality Summit be happening? No, I don't really think that would make a ton of sense. Again, like some people have already alluded to, um, Alfari and Summit seem to have a lot of the same issues, a lot of the same play style. Um, I, I know Fnatic, the, the one thing about this is that there were some teams in Europe that looked at Summit this past offseason. Um, they were kind of worried about his potential communication issues and stuff like that, but it seems like, you know, we saw him on Cloud9. He, we know he speaks English and stuff, um, at least decently uh, now. Um, so maybe communication issues are less of a worry for European teams. Um, I do think that Summit to Vitality is pretty unlikely, but it's at least a name I wanted to throw out there. But overall, I don't see any players. Now, hey, you were, you know, there's always the option of Korean players. Um, and, and again, I don't really even know who the Korean players that are available are or who could potentially slot in or anything like that. Um, I just know that Wulu said that there is some potential big changes coming to Vitality this week. There's also the potential that no big changes will happen. It's Maybe even possible they're going to run back the exact same lineup. Uh, obviously, it seems like Selfmade was not exactly super happy, and, and it seems like, you know, things aren't going super well with him. But if they fired Mephisto, it seems like that would maybe, you know, remedy a lot of the issues with Selfmade. And, and again, we could see this exact same five man roster run back. Um, but there also is the possibility that some big changes could be coming. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys have ideas for, for top lane or jungle or support, or maybe you have a, a player that would make sense. Again, not looking at Vitality B, not looking at a Academy, but looking at outside players potentially being able to come in and replace one or more Vitality starters. Um, and again, this Vitality team, they have money. They want to win now. They want to go for like super teams. So like anything they do could be big. It doesn't seem like any players like out of their budget or completely unreasonable or, you know, nothing like that. So it's just really making me wonder. It's making me think. And I don't have any great answers at this point but again at least I wanted to get the info out to you guys uh to, to watch out for this this week and I will definitely keep following this I'll definitely keep covering this uh and once we hear one way or another you know this is the spot where you're going to get all that info and, and we'll break it down from there um but yeah some potential big changes coming to Vitality we don't really know much more than that Wulu is pretty secretive about it which makes sense obviously one he wants to actually report on it on Upcomer to you know make his article and get his clicks and make his money um but two I don't think he wants to put out too much speculative information out there to potentially you know hurt players or um, you know damage the scene or damage vitality or anything like that since things are still really really up in the air and things are still being considered so I think he's waiting for it to be way more finalized or way more of a done deal before he just starts throwing out random crazy stuff out there um, but it's gonna be a fun week so I'll have to wait and see definitely drop a like if you guys did enjoy this video I'd appreciate that so so much leave a comment down below let me know what you think about all this stuff um, what changes should vitality make who should they go out and get should they stay the same I don't know I'd love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions subscribe save today and all my latest content hope to catch you guys in the next one but until then peace